Welcome back to Sports Talk Radio. I'm joined here with Ben, Cole, and Ryan, and we're going to talk about if Joe Montana is a top 15 quarterback of all time. In my opinion, the facts show, I think he clearly is. I mean, some people can look back right now and say, no, he's not, but the game was different back then. He, he led the 49ers just... He led the 49ers to four Super Bowls. I mean, that's not easy, and he really did great. I mean, what what do you think? I mean, I don't think he is. Statistically, he is not even a top 20 quarterback of all time. He is statistically worse than Russell Wilson all time. And I feel like the only reason that he got those four Super Bowls is because he had the number one receiver of all time, which is Jerry Rice. But I feel like we can look at that, like, people – I mean, we can even go back to Brock Purdy on this one, like – like, there's just QBs. I feel like we disrespect QBs too much. We, even maybe we'll talk about Tom Brady. It's Even if you have a good wide receiver, I mean, the matter of the fact is they're still throwing dots to them. So, I, I mean, I clearly think, do you think he's a top 15 QB of all time? Uh, yeah. He he is because he's just led them to a dynasty, and he's proved that he is a top 50 QB. I totally agree. I mean, through the 19, 1980s. I, I mean, just great. What do you I think? Mean, well, also, if you think about it, who else is there to take place in the top 15? Who? Lamar Jackson? Because Lamar Jackson hasn't won a Super Bowl. I haven't seen him in a Super Bowl at all. Well, um, I could name them off, but also there is a lot of things because the four Super Bowls, you, it's not just Joe Montana. He had Jerry Rice, Ronnie Lott. He had so many like incredible Hall of Famers I mean, on that roster, and it's like, it's hard not to win with them. I totally get what you're saying, but I just – the matter of the fact, if there's not a QB there, I mean, he's still throwing, like, he's still throwing the dots to them. Steve um, Young also created the same. Yeah, I mean – all right, change the ball. Okay. okay. Actually, there's a lot of quarterbacks that are better, that are even current, and also, like, Russell Wilson, like I said, statistically, he is better. I mean, but, like – Yes. St- I mean, I, I agree with you. I totally agree. Let's head to the Broncos. Well, if you, yeah. well, before we head to the Broncos, well, who's the top one quarterback then? If it what? can't be Joe Montana, like who's He's the top, top what? Yeah, top fifteen? No, top quarterback. Like top who's number guy? one? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. All right. Tom Brady, Drew Brees, well, we're, Peyton Manning, we're Eli Manning. You want me to keep naming them? No. Uh, let's go on to the Broncos. How are they? How is their situation? They might make the playoffs, and that's what. Do you guys think that they will make the playoffs? Mm, no, yeah, think? I think so. What do you think? Um, they they might and they might not. I mean, I, think I mean, so. go back to what he says. I I mean, I agree. It's just the matter of the fact. I think it's just the Broncos. Or they could have the best team in the league and go three and thirteen, three and fourteen, or they can have the worst team in the league and make the playoffs. We just don't know. It's the Broncos. We're gonna find out a lot about Bo Nix this year. So I mean, we'll see. And I believe that he Bo Nix is a key part of them making the playoffs because he fits Sean Payton's uh, quarterback structure and what he wants because he wants the pocket quarterbacks that can run sometimes, but he yeah. mainly wants them to stay and in there. And Colton well, Sutton is an amazing receiver for a quarterback like that. The Broncos are also in the process of a rebuild. If you haven't noticed, they're letting go of some of their old guys like Justin Simmons, Russell Wilson, like all of those guys that you're paying all that money to that are like just veterans. So. I mean, I think they're trying to go back to the Broncos, though. For a younger team. I mean, yes, Payne Manning led them to a Super Bowl and all of this, but when's the last time they've actually had a quick QB who can run the football? I mean, well, we I had. Mean, we, because they don't really need one. Yeah. Because so. most of the um, coaches that we've had have been pocket quarter, Like, they like pocket quarterbacks. And also, we can still pick up people that are still in free agency, like Michael Thomas, and I think we should wrap this up. All right. Thanks for joining us on Sports Talk Radio. We'll see you next time.